which pro has the best controller set? It's been a question for years because we all want to be as good as they are. So to find the answer, I just spent hours finding the controller settings of all the top pros and now I'm going to try it. There's 15 players here spanning every type of way you can play controller. So I'm putting them up against each other in a tournament style challenge where there can only be one winner. These are the first round matchups with Miro getting the bye because he's currently ranked as the number one controller player in the world. For this controller settings tournament, in round one, I'll be playing a game of zone wars on each player setting. Then eight pros will advance to round two where I'm 1v1ing on their setting. Four pros will advance to round three semifinals where I play an actual solos game on their setting. And then only two pros make the championship where I play a ranked game on each of their settings to determine a win. Let's run round one. Up first is Pump, arguably the current best controller player in the world versus Wavy Jacob, one of the only no claw, no paddles pros in the entire world. Here's the settings of Pump. <laughs> And that won the round. Dude, Pump's ADS is crazy. Now, though, we got to go up against Wavy Jacob. And these are what Wavy Jacob settings look like. No way. Okay, Pump wins over Wavy Jacob. Next is Re, one of the top known pros versus a newer pro, Revive. This is what Reed sense looks like. It's a bit different because it's exponential. But usually expo settings mean better aim. So let's try this. No way! Oh, the building feels so weird, though. Oh my... Let's go, bro! We won! Okay, now I gotta switch to revive. So we're back to linear settings, but a ridiculously low ADS. So here we go, let's do this. No. I think I have to give the winner of that to Ree. I just played better on his setting. Please next is Okus, another no claw, no paddles pro, one of the few there are. Versus On One, a player that doesn't use advanced options. And dude, Okus has some of the weirdest settings I've ever seen. A 45% ADS sense on Expo. Like, bro, that's so fast. No. No. Now those settings are terrible. How is there a pro using them? I almost feel like On1 could win by default, but he turns advanced options off. Like these are the settings he used. Bro, why are these so weird? Oh my god, they feel just like Ogus's. Dude. Let's go! No way, I won that. Those were two of the weirdest things I've ever used. Well, I did play better on On One, so I have to give him the win. Next is G Money, one of the most mechanical controller players versus D Roller, one of the OG pros. And this is what G Money settings look like. The building and editing feels so much better. But is the aim worse? It doesn't seem like it. Oh. D Money Sense is crazy. But now we're going up against D Roller. And D Roller Sense is pretty interesting on Expo. Dude, the builds and edits are so rough, but the aim is so good. Oh my. Dude, this is so hard. G Money versus D Roller is easily the closest round yet. But I think G Money just barely beats it out because G Money Sense is way better for close range. That means we only have two verses left in this first round. With the next being Byla, an FNCS winner versus Death, another newer controller pro. Now, these are Byla settings, and I might have a little bias to them because of the settings that I've been using for a while now. I think my teammate just killed me, come on. Well, now we're going up against Death. And I didn't even notice this, but Death actually has an incredibly similar sense. Oh. No. Honestly, though, I think I've played better on death setting. Crazy twist of events, but my own personal settings from Byla just lost. Next up, we have TK the console god versus Yasir the Spanish goat. This is what TK settings is going to look like. I think this is a 3v1. Can the console king settings pull this off for me? Wow, that guy was off a slur. Not terrible, though. Well, are they going to be able to defeat Yasir? A bit of a slower sense compared to TK.
Bro, why is everything so slow right now? I'll tell you right now, TK settings definitely won. Rounding out round one is gonna be Cam, one of the console ghosts, versus Bully, another one of the OG pros. These are Cam settings, and Cam is also an expo player. Bro. Oh my god, the build sense is so weird. Oh my god, bro, what is this aim? Feel like I just had aimbot right there. But now we're going up against Bully, who has a sense similar to what I'm used to. God. Yo, that was the craziest round yet. Bully settings definitely won right there, though. There's no way they did it. So from 15 pros down to just 8 after the first round. Obviously, we still have some crazy players like Re and TK and Miro still here. But there can only be one winner. So the second round matchups are in, and they're looking juicy. This round, I'll be playing 1v1s on each pro setting. And we're going to narrow it down even further. So first up in the second round is Miro versus Bully. Miro got the first round by, so this is the first time I'll be using his settings and I like the way they look so far. So let's see how they do. Okay, Miro settings in seven rounds did pretty good on it. But now they get to go against Bully settings. I thought mirror settings were gonna make it far, but Bully wins this round. So next up we have pump versus death. So here we go, these are pump settings. Okay, those are pump settings. Now we're going up against death. Death are the settings that beat Bylo, which Bylo are some of my favorite settings ever. So for that to happen, they have to be pretty good. I still think out of those pump settings one at the start of death settings, I just could not hit shot. Now is gonna be one of my favorite rounds yet, I think. We have Re versus G Mon. This is gonna be absolutely insane. Starting here with Re. Bro, I like I can't even hit shots on it. You know, I have a feeling G Money could win this, but let's see. Bro, I don't even need to see any more. G Money wins. In the last duel of round two is on one versus TK. So I gotta go back to these weird things. Bro, these settings are so bad. Holy bro, give me on TK settings right now. Honestly, I've seen all that I need to see to say that TK settings are better. And then there were four. Bully, Pump, G-Money, and TK. For the third round semifinals, I'm playing a real game on each of these pro settings. And this is going to send the two winners to the championship. First up is Bully versus TK. I would say that Bully settings look like the favorite so far, but it all depends on how well I play with them. I'm so mad I just let him do that, but seven Elims. Let's get these switch over to TK. They're actually incredibly similar. What is that, bro? Bro, what are these AIs?
Let's go. No way. So TK wins over Bully. I did not expect that. That means TK is in the championship. And his settings are going to be going against either Pump or G Money, whose settings I'm going to try right now. These are Pump settings. Let's see if we can win a game. Here we go. That's a real player, isn't it? Well, that was easy. win on pump setting. That's going to be a hard task for G-Money to beat. But let's go ahead and see what happens. No way. I just choked that shot so hard. I guess that means pump's going to the championship. From 15 down to just the two best pro controller settings. And for the championship round, I'm playing a ranked game on each of these player settings. So TK versus pump, TK is up first. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Like we're both dead. So that's a five elim fifth place. It gained me like maybe 30 something percent. Which means there's only one more settings I have to play on and that's pump. So here we go. Bro, I just can't even get a kill. I can't, I actually can't get a kill on these settings. Like it's not even close. The winner of the best pro controller settings tournament is TK. So here's a good look at the winner's controller settings. Give them a shot. Remember to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.